So we'll continue, please, here, this break video. So now, uh, our last hard disk, D2 hard disk is burned. We attach the new hard disk, and your data will be back by using parity. So you can see in D0, we have what information? One. D1 is having two. What is missing? Parity. The parity will generate for one and two. Now D1 is having, sorry, D0 is having three data information. D1 is having parity for three and four. What is missing number? Four is will generate. And D0 is having parity for five and six. D1 is having what here? Five information. What is missing? Six. D0 is having seven. D1 is having eight. What is missing? Parity is missing for seven and eight. Automate data will be generated. Now tell me, your data is back or not here? Yes, so this is called what rate five. So that's why you can see here in the slide is written here rate five data writing style is alternate evenly two or more disk parity will be right in one of the disk here fault tolerance feature is available reading writing always is fast here an example when I'm writing the data here. We have three hard disks. I'm taking these three hard disks. I'm making one single volume here. And when I'm writing the data here in this volume. So background only the data will be right in these three volumes by using parity also. Right. So one of the hard disk example is failed. Like second hard disk, the disk two is failed. Can I remove this hard disk? Yes. Can I attach the new hard disk here? Yes. When I attach the new hard disk in this rate, so automatically my data will be regenerated. So whatever the missing data is there, automatically is regenerating there. Okay. So this is what here, rate five. So now tell me in the market when we are using in the real time the rates, we have rate five, we have mirror, and we have a simple. But remember here the simple volume is audited no one is using the good thing is what reading writing speed is fast here writing data is alternate but the feature is not available fault trend. that's why we are not seeing so in the real time for servers for dc and adc if you have a storage box small storage box we have to go for mirror volume but if you want especially for a storage box if you want you have to go for rate five here right so we'll do one thing by using storage pool one uh, we have to create some storage pools first here then by using storage pool one, we will go to the rate simple volume. By storage pool two, we'll go for mirror. By using storage pool three, we'll go for rate five here. So please write down creating storage pools. Creating storage pools. Creating storage pools. So write down in server manager console. In server manager console, in server manager console, click on files and storage service. Click on files and storage service. Now, once you click on files and storage service, now tell me in this page, are you finding storage pools option? Yes, right. So, right down, select, click on storage pools. Click on storage pools. Now, once you click the storage pools here, you can see here. Is written here no storage pool exit but actually is there so if you're getting like this message so do one thing refresh what you have to do refresh once you refresh just wait for a few seconds then you can find <coughs> here which hard disk we created some hard disk that is virtual but it will show you like a physical and by using this hard disk we have to create the storage pool and here for rate zero, how many hard disks we require? Two hard disks. We have to create storage pool one by using the two hard disks here, right? And you can see here. Are you finding all your physical hard disk or not here? But actually, we created virtual, but it's showing physical. Now here we have to create. This area is called storage space, and we have to create storage pools here. So we have to right click. We have to go to new storage pool. So write down next line. In storage space. In storage space, right click, and click on new storage pool. In a storage space, right click and click on new storage pool. Click on new storage pool. So once I click this new storage pool, one new window will open. Then write down this is a beginning window, write down click next. Now once you click next here, in next page is asking sir, what name you want to give to storage pool here. So write down name dash storage pool one name dash storage pool one you can give any name it will be accepted for you but i'm giving storage pool one name dash storage pool one click on next now once i click next year in next page is asking sir how many hard disks you want to attach in this storage pool here select that one two that is physical disk one and 
2. So write down select physical disk 1 and 2. Select physical disk 1 and 2 and click next and click on create. Select physical disk 1 and 2, click next and click on create. Click on next and click on create. So once you click create here, then after write down close. Now, one storage pool is created, click on close. And you can see now, storage pool 1 is created, but in storage pool 1, how many hard disks we have? Disk 1. So like this, we have to create a storage pool 2 by using physical disk 3 and 4. We have to create a storage pool 3 by using physical disk 5, 6 and 7. So please write down note. Create a storage pool 2. Create a storage pool 2 by using physical disk 3 and 4 by using physical disk 3 and 4 create a storage pool 2 by using physical disk 3 and 4 next line write down create a storage pool 3 by using physical disk by using physical disk 5 6 7 by using physical disk 5 6 7 method and procedure is same here so you can see here right click on this space and click on new storage pools click on next and give the storage pool name storage pool 2 click next and how many hard disks we require 2 physical disk 3 and 4 click next click on create and close now create next one storage pool 3 select physical hard disk 5 6 7 click next and click on create and close okay now we have three storage pool storage pool 1 2 and 3 so by using storage pool 1 we'll go for simple volume here so write down next line <coughs> creating next lab creating simple volume creating simple volume See here, I'm showing uh, by using storage pool one, we'll create the simple volume, but I'm showing only one volume here, right? So, but in the lab, you have to create mirror volume also, you have to create rate five by using storage pool two and by using storage pool three here. But the method and procedure is same in one place that is called layout. It's called layout. In layout, you have to select what volume you require there, okay? So please write down in server manager console, in server manager console, select the storage pool one. In server manager console, select the storage pool one. Okay. Then in the down, you can see here we have virtual hard disk, and here have option here to create a virtual disk here. So right down, click on to create a virtual disk. Click on to create a virtual disk. So once you click this one to create a virtual disk, one new page will open, and we have to continue this one. Create a virtual disk. Right down click next now once i click next here in next page is asking sir which storage pool you require storage pool one so write down one more time next because by default is selected there click one more time next now once you click next is asking sir what is the name of your virtual desk here so write down name dash simple name dash simple but please don't think that if i give the simple here automatically this volume will become it will not become simple volume there, right? In next page layout, we have to decide which volume we require. So write down click after name, write down click next. Now once I click next here, now this area is called layout and layout is asking sir, you want simple volume or mirror or parity. Parity means rate five. So which one you like? Simple. simple. So write down in layout, select simple. In layout, select simple. Like this when you're creating mirror volume, you have to select what? Mirror. If you're creating rate five, you have to select parity there. In layout select simple and click next now once i click next here in next page is asking sir provisioning type so here we have two options here one is fix and one is a thin i'm not explaining here because already we learned this say this thin and fix the last session the last session we discussed fixed virtual hard disk and fixed size vhd and dynamically expanding so here fixed size vhd means fixed dynamically expanding is what here Thin. So which is the best one? 
thin is the best because we can expand the size of the volume. So write down select thin and click next. Select thin and click on next. Now once you click next here, next page is asking sir give the size of the disk. So write down virtual disk size but don't worry about this size. It's showing 6 GB here. We have to collect, calculate our size we have to give that 4 plus 4. Total is what here? 8 GB. So write down virtual disk size 8 GB and click next. Virtual disk size 8 GB and click next. And click on create and close. So once you click create, your process started and after that close. But after close, your job is not done. Once you close, automatically one new window will open. If this window is not opening, we have to open manually there. So see here. Once you close here, just wait for a few seconds and one new window will open. Are you finding one new window is open? But in the lab, sometime it will not open. If it is not opening, then what we have to do? If this window is not opening, you can see the last one in the last in this page. Are you finding simple volume here? Right. So right click on this and click on new volume. So this window will open. And in this window, actually, what we have to do? Read the options wherever you want changes, change it. Otherwise, then next, next, next. So right down, click next. So wherever we want, we'll change. Then we'll keep the sometime. Uh, if you don't want change, keep the default and click next there. So once I click next here, write down one more time next. Now it's asking the size how much you want. If you want to reduce, you can reduce. But I want to take full size here. That is a 8 GB. So write down click next. Now here is asking sir what drive letter you want. By default, what is selecting here? F drive. If you like, you can change also. But I don't want to change here. I want to keep F drive here. Okay. So write down click next. Now here is showing your formatting file system is what here? NTFS you can change to REFS also. And your volume label name is what? New volume. But if you want, you can like to change. So I want to change the display name. It's not compulsory, but I'm changing here. Simple volume. Okay. Then click next. And click on create and close. Click on create. And after that, close. And after close, your job has done. Now you can go for verification. So please write down verification. So you can see here is done. Click on close. The write down verification. Open the computer. Verification. Open the computer. And check the simple volume F drive. Check the simple volume F drive and check the size 8 GB. And check the size. 8 GB. Okay. Check the simple volume F drive and check the size 8 GB. Next slide on open this simple volume. Open this simple volume and store some data. Open this simple volume, store some data. Okay. So you can see here. I'm going to my computer, open this computer, and you can see are you finding F drive simple volume here? Yes, size is what here? 8 GB. And if you open this drive, can we store some data here? Yes, we can store some files. We can store some data. But please don't ask me, sir, show me where is one, where is two here. Because this is a logical process here. Okay, so it's going to store actual data we are storing here. But background in the data is storing in two different hard disks in alternate time here. Okay, this one. Now after this one, what we have to do, we have to go for our next volume. So please write down note. By using storage pool 2, the method and procedure is same here. Okay. By using storage pool 2, create the mirror volume. By using storage pool 2, create the mirror volume. Next write down. By using storage pool 3, create the read 5 volume. By using storage pool 3, create the Read 5 volume. Okay, done. 
so this you have to do it okay so today we are winding up our class here and today we have finished storage topic and tomorrow we are going to discuss how to configure the routers to connect from one lan to other lan by using windows server operating system so thank you very much for today's session sir